Christians. When Ruth met Boaz the first day she was on the job, the first day she was at work, God was lining everything up. He was seeing the bigger picture. He was saying, these two belong together. They, there was chemistry there. It was a match made in heaven. Come on, somebody. And Boaz said, it's time. I made my move. Today's the day. And so Boaz made a public declaration. I need some help with this. I, I want to show you what this looks like. And, and I, I need two people that are kind of like dating. Um, Yvonne, will you come up here? He serves at our, in our dream team at, at, at Victory Downtown. Come on up here. You're going to be Boaz for a second. Is your girlfriend here? Shelby, will you come up here? Give it up. Shelby serves at Victory Downtown too. You got to see what God was up to here. These two people came from different worlds. Yvonne, will you get on this side? Shelby, you stay on this side. Here you go. You got the mic. Boaz was getting in front of the whole town square and he said, hey guys, you've watched me. I, I know I'm, I'm single. I've, I've waited for a long time. I've been working hard, I've been faithful, and there's this girl that I want to marry. <laughs> Let me give you the eighth point right here. Number eight, it's about time that you stopped dating God's will and you got married to God's will for your life. Everybody say, it's about time that you stopped dating God's will See, some of us, we're just flirting with God. It's January. You're like, it's January. I'm going to flirt with church a little bit. I'm just going to see what the series is all about. And then I'll decide, you know, if I want God in my life this year. God's not like that. He doesn't want you to just date his purpose. When you date God's purpose, when you just flirt with God's will, you're like, I want one foot in my will, one foot in God's will. No, no, no. God's a jealous God. He wants all of you, not just half of you, not just 90% of you. He wants all of you. He wants to put a ring on your finger. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Everybody say yes, yes. to the dress. Come on, somebody. So, 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 so watch this. Boaz... He says, everybody, I'm gonna take care of this girl and I want you to be witnesses here. And everyone in verse 11 through 12, they backed up his decision. They, they said, we're with you, Boaz. Everybody say, we're with you, Boaz. Say, we believe in Ruth. We believe in Ruth. They blessed Ruth. This is amazing. And in verse 11, the town blessed Ruth. We're talking about Israelites who believe in the power of the spoken blessing, that they would give it to each other. They would, Israelites would give it to Israelites. Abraham gave it to Isaac. Isaac gave it to Jacob. Jacob gave it to Joseph. But now the Israelites are giving a blessing to a Moabite woman. They're breaking the boundaries. They're saying, listen, listen, this girl is meant to be a part of this family. She's grafted herself into the family of God. What if you started speaking a blessing over the people in your life instead of criticizing them? Instead of criticizing the next generation, what if you started speaking a blessing over the next generation? That's what they did that day. And so verse 13, Boaz proposed to Ruth. Now, it'd be awesome if we reenacted this, but I don't think this is a reenactment. Yvonne, would you like to say something today? I would. Shelby, I love you, and there aren't enough words in the dictionary or a combination of words in the dictionary for me to tell you and properly articulate how I feel about you. Your love for God and the things of God absolutely excite me. Your loving and compassionate heart are the crown of your beauty. Your uniqueness and your little quirks, they really make my heart smile. Now, I don't know what the future holds, but I do know that our best days are right in front of us. I, I do know that I want to build a Christ-centered legacy with you in which I will lead and serve you with my very best always. 
I'll help you grow without any borders or limits. I'll back you up no matter what. And I will love you endlessly. And so with God as our witness, our church family, our families um, here, I have one very special and important question to ask you. And it's whether you would do me the honor of marrying me. Come on.